So to commemorate World Environmental Day, which comes up on Friday, we have an expert to talk to us on how we can take more better care of our environment. Joining us on the show now is the Vice Chairman, Landscape Association, Lagos State, Mr. Pabdonu Adela Kun Amoso. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. You. Yeah, happy environmental day. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, everybody is talking about this issue of uh, planting trees, um, um, global warming um, challenges, how we can ensure that we preserve the environment. As we are looking at celebrating World Environmental Day on Friday, what are those uh, points you'd like us to remember to begin to do as a people to preserve our environment? Actually, um, that's why World Environmental Day is celebrated annually. Um, the United Nations has set out this date for awareness all over the world. And up to like 100 countries are involved in celebrating World Environmental Day. And it is a time to actually educate the public and the people around to see the essence of why their environment has to be taken care of. Uh, basically, this year, 2020, the thing that is... Um, being built to celebrate biodiversity. Um, we are trying to look at how we can put heads together and celebrate what we call biodiversity. Well, every day is every the fifth of June every year. And um, this guy, like I said, it is it was actually inaugurated in nineteen seventy two by the United Nations General Assembly. And then, since then, it has been celebrated annually. Uh, basically, like I also want right. to chip in, it is a way to improve art environment, such as conserving those natural things that we have in the forest, in the savanna, in the ocean, every other <laughs> natural environment. Right. 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 So, sir, okay. um, you know, when I go to certain environments, I see some very beautiful flowers. I don't know if they're called ornamental uh, uh, plants that yeah. just beautify the environment. And I only see those in very expensive areas. <laughs> and I'm wondering if, for instance, a common man wants to, you know, beautify their environment by having these life plants, how expensive or how cheap is it? Or should we just focus on looking for food to eat? Uh, well, plants are very cheap mm. because they are easily propagated. Okay. If you uh, want to just identify or understand the way they are propagated, you can make them in multiples of millions. Mm. And they are plants that can be propagated through various means, by cutting, by seed by leaf propagation, by all of means that are available for propagation. They are, they are, they are not expensive. It's only that people see as see as if they are no no go area. Mm. Because they assume that uh, beautiful is left or is actually uh, uh, designated to the rich. It is not so. Mm. You can get involved in plant propagation and then you can have a beautiful life around you where you plant within your environment, in your house. You can have plants in your sitting room. You have plants that will take the entire pollution within, it, within your area. Right. And what you <coughs> think about ornamental? Ornamental has been very much plants. Now, you see, the, the, the word ornament is gotten from the fact that um, the beauty of it. Okay. If you dress up and you have your earrings, your wig on, your powder on those make it makes you like beautiful. more beautiful. So there are some plants that have that tendency. They have the flowers. Right. Their leaves are colored. You know, mm. they, they, they they make good for for, for, for viewing. Right. And these are the plants that we normally class as ornamental plants. Right. Okay. okay. So I'll just I would like to know. You know, every year we celebrate Environmental Day and. 
it's almost like we just pay lip service to it. But I would like to understand if on the legislation side, what we're doing as a country, as Nigeria, what sort of laws have we, have, are we passing uh, and uh, pressure groups pushing for that our country should adopt, you know, so that we have a, a, a cleaner environment, a better climate. We hear the world, especially like um, developed countries do this, okay. they have meetings, but I wonder on the Nigerian side, what are the specific legislations that we have to, you know, compel Nigerians in their homes, you know, or yes. schools to plant trees or do things that preserve make sure, yeah, that preserves the environment? Well, of course, we have bodies that are responsible for this. Uh, at the national level, we have the ministry, the Federal Ministry of Environment. Mm. At all the state levels, we are supposed to have the state ministry of environment. And uh, look at government levels, they are supposed to be this uh, level of administration as well. But you find out that in most cases, uh, if, um, these agencies or bodies are underplayed within our own framework here in Nigeria and in most other African countries. Uh, because we assume that um, they are not priority. But if you neglect the environment, the, the results will be very, very devastating. Um, basically, the, the, the one I, I know very well is the Lagos State. Lagos State have made efforts in the past to actually upgrade the environment because of the level of carbon um, um, uh, 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 within the atmosphere of this city. And uh, you, you can notice, everybody can notice within the, within the framework of government that some few years ago, like between 12 years ago, um, a government was in place that actually pursued this vigorously. Uh, we have seen a decline in that so far. And uh, basically, uh, the NGOs, the individual bodies, that are making effort to be able to do it of it. The loop of created are not be able to go so far because of the various um, 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 uh, uh, bureaucracy and the uh, uh, constraints that right. they face. Right. So that, okay. that, is, that is the... But not, and annually, um, and the Labour State Government have actually set aside July the 14th of, of every year Mm -hmm. to have a tree planting day. Mm -hmm. And at that time, trees are encouraged to be planted all over the state. Right. And then um, people are educated, are given free seedlings to plant and all sorts of things. But right. like I said, it is actually at the moment, in the last like seven, uh, like, like five years, it has actually been experiencing a decline. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are not actually progressing right. the way we should. Thank you so much, sir, for enlightening us today. It's obviously important that we must plant trees. And I know during the during, um, former governor Fasha last time that he was like, we were accusing people, Fasha, like just planting trees <laughs> all over the place. You flower, flower all over the place. But we see the benefits today, and uh, it's something that we must begin to imbibe. Now that people are mostly home, you might try to plant a tree. Thank you so much, sir. We'll be speaking with the Chairman Landscape Association, Lagos State, Mr. Adelakun Amosun. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll continue the show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You can watch Your View on TVC every Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Nigerian time on DSTV Channel 418, Go TV Channel 27 and Channel 47, Star Times Channel 121 and Channel 307, Play TV Channel 801 and Channel 190, UHF 49, Sky Channel 515 for UK viewers. Watch live on Facebook at TVC Connect and on our website, tvcentertainment.tv forward slash livestream.